The most watched news in Western Washington. King 5 News starts now. And we get Jesse to find out if the new iPhone 5 is really going to be faster. Apple says it's sold more than 5 million iPhone 5s in the three days since its launch. But that is nearly 1.5 million fewer than analysts had expected. It seems demand exceeded supply for most models. Apple likely would have sold more if more had been available. So the question is, is your iPhone 5 really going to be faster? That's what the commercials are promising, but Jesse Jones speaks with an industry leader who says a data slowdown may be on the way. I mean, kids aren't even dressed yet. I know. I know. It's crazy. It is kind of crazy that Courtney Youngberg pulled her children out of bed in their pajamas to get her iPhone fix. I'm going to have to put it in my trunk so I'm not tempted to, to use it in the car. You know what I mean? Well, Courtney, the issue is speed. Data speed. And your iPhone 5 is offered on the fastest network ever, LTE. Still loading. Top. Oh, you go straight We're going. to it. We're the going. phone on the left is an iPhone 5 with LTE. Just loading video, you can see how much faster it is than my iPhone 4. That's 3G. We're moving from 3G to LTE is like the difference between being on dial-up and cable modem at home. Bill Moore is the CEO of Root Metrics, a Bellevue company that measures cellular and data speeds for consumers all over the country. He says the number of LTE users could grow from 10 million to 22 million in around a week's time. So you're going to have a doubling of the amount of phones on the LTE networks that could start to crush those networks. Bill says the slowdown may seem like sending a tweet or a picture at a packed Seahawks game. So you, you, you see sometimes that you, you're, you're failing uploading that photo or uploading that text, um, not happening when it's under that kind of a load. Moore is uncertain about how long the slowdown could last. That would depend on your carrier and how it adjusts to the increased traffic. We're seeing data growth like this. I mean, you look on the graph and it's just going upwards, strongly upwards. Scott Charleston with Verizon says their company is ready. So our engineers are on it. They're, they're looking at, okay, how do we add LTE to more cell sites? How do we make it possible so that a doubling, tripling, quadrupling of data usage is something that we can handle? Good afternoon, Rootmetrics. Rootmetrics bottom line, LTE will be a faster experience for those new to it. But if you already have the technology, you may see a slowdown. As for Courtney, I wonder if her kids will be bringing their children in PJs when the iPhone 30 comes out. You don't have to wake them up. I'll watch them. You go get your phone and get me one too. We also talked to AT&T and they say their network is ready for the extra traffic. Now remember, while you're enjoying your LTE experience, you're paying for all that data. So pay attention to your usage. It'll be costly if you don't. Jesse Jones, K5 News.